Hey fellas and ladies, welcome to another TRT Q&A session where I go through all your comments and questions. Now, I'm sorry, it has been a while. Um, I have been off for a while, I haven't shot videos in about three weeks. I had the flu, then I got this hideous mouth AIDS, also known as a cold sore, for a while. Then it was Easter, and Easter weekend is party weekend, so a lot of drinking and hangovers, not much productivity. <laughs> so we are back now, all the partying and that type of stuff is out of the way. And so I'm just gonna do a bulk session where we go through all of your questions uh, and comments in one go and just cut through them all and get them out of the way. So uh, we're gonna move quite quickly, let's get right into it. Tariq al says, if you're doing steroids, hit a like you motherfucker. Pedro Silva says, I have secondary hypogonadism. I don't want to take testo. What is your advice on HCG or Clomid dosage and frequency for low T? Talk to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor. I don't know anything. You don't know anything. YouTube is not a doctor. The best person to talk to for something like this is your doctor. Adam rocks. He says, hey, Paolo, I have a question. The day I lift heavy, I get anxiety the next day. Is this normal? What can I do? This is crazy. It's strange. <laughs> it's like most people get anxiety before they lift heavy, not after. So I'm not sure what's going on here. It's, it sounds like a bit of a really uh, weird case. Um, I know you, after you lift heavy, you get sort of muscle fatigue and maybe that's making you feel tired. I don't know about anxiety though. It's very abnormal. I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, maybe you can chat to your doctor about it, but it doesn't ring any bells for me. I have no clue whatsoever. Elizabeth B says, could you please provide a link to this product? And she's talking about a little contraption that I uh, did a video on showing you how to open ampules glass ampules like testosterone a lot easier. Yes, Elizabeth, I have put a link and a comment to your comment uh, with the product details there so you can get it off Amazon. For the rest of you that are wondering, it was just a little plastic thing that you put the glass vial into and it helps you snap open the glass ampule a lot easier. Cafe LPS says, that ass dough in response to how to inject Nibido, which is a video I did where unfortunately my ass was on display for the whole world to see. So thank you, Cafe LPS. Mr. Nice says, when is the blood work parlor? Just answered that in another video. So have a look out for that, it's coming out soon. Chris123, in response to a video I did where I showed before and after pictures of uh, testosterone replacement therapy usage, he says, so all your gains you lost. Now, I don't know if this is a troll comment. Sometimes they'll say that, you know, to make you feel shit because your gains don't look that good. <laughs> so that's normal on YouTube, but maybe he's talking about uh, the big picture where I was lifting quite heavy. I weighed about 92 kilos and then I dropped down to about 78, 79 during a cut and then back up to about 82, 83 kilos. In the picture, the, the, to answer your question, Chris, uh, in the question where I was bigger and I weighed about 92, 93 kilograms, I was deadlifting. My top one rep max was 182 kilograms and my squat was 165. When I went on the cut and then came off the cut and sort of picked up slightly at about 82 kilograms weight, uh, I was deadlifting 180 and squatting 155. So did I lose gains? Yes. Was it a big difference? No, considering that over all of that time, I dropped about 10 kilograms of body weight over a couple of years. And I only, uh, I only dropped in my main lifts a little bit. And that's not just because I dropped weight, but also over that period, I kind of slacked on the gymming in that too. So actually I dropped, I, my one rep max had dropped quite a bit because I'd just been not taking the gym too seriously. And then during the cut and then the sort of slow bulk after the cut, which is the after picture, uh, I was training hard, building my way back up, and then I got close to my one rep max from earlier. So all your gains lost? No, hardly any of my gains lost, but I probably would have had even more gains if I'd been more diligent with my workouts over those three, four, five year period. But you know, I'm not a professional bodybuilder, so, and I'm not a professional powerlifter, so basically my workouts kind of go with the seasons and with the moods. Sometimes I party more, sometimes I focus on working out more. Generally, 
I go at least two to three times a week, but when I'm training hard, it's five to six times a week. And when I'm not, it's two times, maybe three times a week. Uh, but then, you know, you've got other factors like alcohol and that that sort of eat at your gains, which is not good. Okay. Baldy Locks says, who, I, he says, I'm in, lol. And that's in response to who's keen for a webinar with Mike. So great. Thanks for letting me know, Baldy Locks. Um, Khan Cross says, I have Aspen Sassanon 250, but eight hours after I injected it into my butt, it starts to pain and I get fever as well. Any way to get around this? Number one, don't inject it in your butt anymore until the problem goes away. And number two, talk to your doctor. Uh, I suspect if you're getting fever, you're having some reaction towards it. Maybe it's not original product. Maybe you're getting it off the black market. I don't know. It's very hard to judge these things when you guys give me so little information. But if, you, if you're getting it from the doctor, the legal way, through your prescription, and you're still having this reaction, you just talk to your doctor about it and they'll tell you what to do. But if you're getting it on the black market and you're getting this reaction, stop! End of question. RGB Osteen says, why did they make and design it so stupid and difficult? He's talking about those glass ampules that you get the testosterone in, and I agree. But once you learn how to open them, it's actually really simple, but learning it in the beginning is a fucking pain in the ass. And like I've said in previous videos, you can even land up with shards of glass stuck in your finger if you don't open it properly, and it sort of uh, it snaps incorrectly, and, it's, and there's all glass everywhere. It's a fucking pain. Dr. Benjamin Snyder says in my in my in response to my video on negative effects of alcohol on testosterone. Awesome, Paolo. Thanks for sharing. This is a super important message. Thank you for watching. Gary Henry, he says in response to my video, how to survive a testosterone crash. He says, this shit is so true. My wife, a nurse, let me go through this and now we are separated and separated. Shame on you. I think he's saying that to his wife. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Gary Henry still have some issues to work through. <laughs> okay, and finally, Chris T says, in response to uh, TRT available for transgender females, but not straight men. That's a video I did uh, relating my experiences about not being able to get TRT uh, in the UK on the NHS while female transgenders were getting it easily. And so he says, good information and very sad. I hope you can get a solution. I have have one. Well, I do have one. Thank you very much. Now, and it's terrible how you are being discriminated against. Have you contacted a lawyer about a discrimination suit perhaps? No, I haven't. It would take too much time. I don't like playing the victim card. I found another way to get around it and another solution to get around it. That's just the way I operate my life. I don't like wasting time on stupid things. In a, in a perfect world, if everything happened the way I imagined it in my brain, yes, I would have gotten a lawyer and we would have won the case and I would have got my TRT, but that's never gonna happen. That's not how politics and government and national health and that type of thing works, as you'll learn in future. So, that's the end of the TRT Q&A and comments for today. Uh, if you guys like this longer form one where we get through a whole bunch in a row, let me know, and I'll do more of these in future and then we can do them more often. So thanks for watching, catch you soon. I am out of here. Pew.